So I'm gonna walk through the research on one food that might just be the key to lowering your blood sugar. Better than metformin? Can it cancel out carbohydrates? When you go and carb load and you have that pasta dinner, you go for pizza, you go for the bread. Can this one food, when implemented with that meal or before that meal, cancel out the blood sugar raising detrimental weight the blood sugar raising, weight gaining, inflammation causing effects that sugar has on our system. It might just be, let's go take a look at the science. What is this superfood that we speak of? ACV. You down with ACV? Yeah, you know me. Apple cider vinegar. Adding it to your foods, we're gonna look at five ways right now and the studies behind them on how it could impact your blood sugar and it might just be that thing that allows you to have some carbs every once in a while, but it cancels it out. And some studies show doing it to the level of what metformin does, let's take a look. So drizzling vinegar over vegetables. So if you get a side of vegetables with the meal, drizzle a little vinegar over it. One study found that consuming just two teaspoons of this vinegar that you could easily put over some vegetables, you could make, we make salads out of it, we mix it with mayonnaise, we put apple cider vinegar in there, and then we eat broccoli or we eat cauliflower based, sort of uh, uh, mayo based salad. But just doing that, just drizzling those two teaspoons over carbohydrates, which in this form would be vegetables, may reduce your post meal blood glucose levels by as much as 20%. The study also found that consuming vinegar with a high carb meal also made you feel more full. So if you're gonna have the carbs, right? If you just added some veggies with some apple cider vinegar on it, you would make a massive difference in what those carbs do to your body. And you're gonna feel more full if you put the apple cider vinegar in there. Use number two of apple cider vinegar. Take four teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in water and drink it right before you eat. In a study, they took participants, they consumed a buttered bagel with orange juice. That's gonna be a lot of sugar. Two minutes after, drinking either 20 grams of apple cider vinegar or a placebo. So they drank the vinegar, the other one just drank some water. They had this carb-loaded, typical breakfast for a lot of people, buttered bagel and juice. They checked the blood sugar levels at 30 minutes and 60 minutes after the meal, and there was a significantly lower post-meal blood sugar level in the group that took the apple cider vinegar. If you're gonna have them, you gotta do the apple cider vinegar first. You can have the carbs and the sugars, take in the apple cider vinegar first. In that scenario, four teaspoons in water is all it took. Use number three of apple cider vinegar. Take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with water right before bed. They did this experiment with type two diabetics. One group took ACV, apple cider vinegar, with a little slice of cheese. They gave them a late night snack, okay? The other group took water with a little slice of cheese right at bedtime. Those who took the apple cider vinegar reduced their fasting blood sugar levels by up to 6% over the next two days. I wouldn't advise having the snack at nighttime, just use the apple cider vinegar. You're gonna to start to see drops in your blood sugar levels. You certainly don't have to do it forever, but when you're in a mode, when you're trying to get carbohydrates out of your life, when you're trying to feel better and look better, apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons before bed has proven to have a massive impact. Use number four of getting apple cider vinegar in and all of its benefits. Eat more fermented foods. They're really good for your gut. They have a lot of probiotics involved with them and they're fermented in vinegar, which is gonna lower your blood sugar. When researchers in Sweden added fermented foods or even pickles would count, right, that are preserved in vinegar, to a breakfast that had high carbohydrates like white bread, they found that the combination reduced blood sugar and insulin levels compared to a study group who only ate the bread. So if you're gonna have a carbohydrate meal and you were to just add a pickle to it or some fermented foods to it or some apple cider vinegar to it, you're seeing a lower carb hit, a lower blood sugar hit inside of your system compared to a group that just ate the carbohydrates. And use number five to put a nail in this coffin, even if you're on medications for blood sugar, even if you have diabetes, type two diabetes, they've done a study where apple cider vinegar in combination with metformin, the most popular um, anti-diabetes, anti-blood sugar medication, when they combine the two of them together, it appeared to be way more effective 
in improving the glycemic, the blood sugar control versus those that only took metformin by itself. So I'm not telling you to throw out your medications and I'm not telling you that this is a cure-all replacement for metformin, but the studies are clear. With apple cider vinegar, with metformin, you're gonna have a benefit. Even if you're screwing up and you're eating the carbohydrates, apple cider vinegar has you covered. And it's been shown to have a massive impact on not only your blood sugar levels, but your inflammation levels and your gut health. So you down with ACV? Yeah, you know me. Now, if you are like me and anyone else and you kind of shudder at taking a sip of that stuff and you want to know how to get it in, I got you. Here's some of my favorite apple cider vinegar video uh, recipes in this video that I put up for you right here. Check it out.